this just in, a prominent leaker in the Pokemon community has possibly teased two new Pokemon games. If you don't know who Riddler Koo is, they're very well known for, for leaking stuff in the Pokemon community. They've accurately leaked uh, Terrapagos' appearance, a lot of stuff about Petra Run and the Paradox Legendaries. But lately their focus has shifted to the brand new Pokemon games likely being announced uh, for Pokemon Day in just a few days. And to add some context, there's a, there's a lot of rumours for what the next Pokemon game is going to be. The main idea is that either it's going to be a game set in Johto, either being a Let's Go game or a Legends game, or it's going to be a game set in Unova, either Legends, a remake or a sequel. And in the midst of all this discussion, everyone arguing back and forth about what they think the next Pokemon game will be, Riddler Koo tweeted this. A picture of a seven segment display, which is usually shown on microwaves, ovens, alarm clocks, that kind of thing, displaying the number eight with two dots right above it and to the left. But YouTuber Ruffled Rowlet has potentially shed some light on what the answer could be. They describe how one of their viewers suggested the idea that instead of being an eight, it's actually a combination of a two and a five, being Generations 2 and 5, Johto and Unova. And Red Lacou's next tweet pretty much confirms this, but first I wanted to talk about the context around why Johto and Unova are so heavily requested to return in the next Pokemon games. I think one of the main reasons is that they're both next in terms of like making a series, I suppose. As in, you know, let's go Pikachu and Eevee were in Kanto, so next chronologically would be Johto. And of course the Gen 4 remakes just came out, so chronologically the next one would be Unova. I also think some of it relates to the availability of some Pokemon. There are currently only five Pokemon regions that aren't directly connected to Pokemon Home, being Johto, Hoenn, Unova, Kalos, and Alola. And on top of that, there are a handful of Pokemon that you still can't transfer to any Pokemon game on the Switch. And also a lot of those Pokemon are from Unova, being uh, Pat Rat, Watchog, the Elemental Monkeys. Three days after posting the first tweet, Riddler Koo tweets out a second image. Another seven segment display with two dots, but instead on a white background. And on top of all of that, three of the seven segments are slightly darker than the rest. And these three segments just happen to be the exact same segments that overlap in two and five. Now a lot of people are convinced on this, and I agree, it, it is really good evidence. But I, I wanted to explore a, a few more possibilities. The only single numbers that use all three of those segments are two, three, five, six, and eight. And nine. I definitely didn't forget nine while I was making this video. So, you know, for all we know, this could be teasing <laughs> Kalos remakes, although that is in incredibly unlikely. I imagine Koo has one final image to tweet out that will either confirm or disagree confirm this theory. So if you don't want to miss their next post, and you know, especially with Pokemon Day coming right around the corner, I'm going to be posting news and coverage about all of it. So you really want to make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on.